We want to thank you for being a Habitat volunteer. We want your experience with us to be a safe and rewarding one. To help accomplish that, we have produced this short video on construction site safety. Safety starts with what you wear to the site. You should dress comfortably, but don't wear loose or baggy clothing. Wear clothing that's appropriate for the work and weather conditions. Summer heat can be a hazard. Be sure to drink plenty of fluids and drink often. Heat exhaustion is triggered by excessive sweating and not drinking enough fluids. Serious cases of heat injury can lead to life-threatening heat stroke. Take rest breaks appropriate for the work being done. Trousers or overhauls should fit properly and have legs without cuffs. Shirts and jackets should be kept buttoned. Sleeves should also be buttoned or rolled up. Shoes should be sturdy with thick soles. Wear steel-toed shoes or boots if you have them. Hard hats are recommended anytime you're working on site and required when overhead work is being done. Hand protection is important and in many cases can help prevent cuts and blisters. So wear gloves, especially if you are carrying things or involved in cleanup activities. Wear appropriate respiratory protection when working with insulation or in dusty areas. Safety glasses or goggles are always recommended. If you normally wear contact lenses, you should wear your glasses. Construction sites can be pretty dusty places. Hearing protection can be required around some power equipment. Don't wear jewelry or watches, and if possible, leave purses and wallets at home. Parking is limited at the construction site, so if your organization is providing buses or carpools, please use them. Before you enter a work site, you should survey the area where you are going to be working to identify potential hazards. There is a lot going on at the construction site. You need to be aware of your surroundings and what people around you are doing. Start by looking at ground level, then look at the area within your reach. And finally, check out what's going on overhead. Be aware at all times of potential objects falling from the roof. As we mentioned, we require you to wear hard hats while doing framing, demolition, or overhead work is being performed. But overhead also means temporary power lines and other obstructions. Children under the age of 14 are not allowed on a habitat job site. Construction can be dangerous, and the work site is not an appropriate place for children. For teenagers between the ages of 14 and 18, federal law restricts certain activities, so check with your construction supervisor before bringing teenagers to the work site. Implement the buddy system where you keep an eye on a fellow volunteer. Don't be afraid to tell them to stop working if they don't look well. If the volunteer resists, alert the construction supervisor. Older volunteers especially need to be aware that balance and upper body strength weakens with age and the ability to recover from an injury is weakened. Don't try to lift heavy items or work from heights. Every work site should have a first aid kit clearly visible along with an emergency contact phone list. There should also be a telephone on site. Be aware of your surroundings, especially when carrying long objects. Note where your coworkers are and what they're doing. Don't back up or move in any direction where you're not looking. If you have basic hand tools, bring them. Hammers, tape measures, carpenters pencils, tool belts, basic woodworking tools. We have a limited number of tools available, so it's a big help if you have your own. However, Please do not bring handmade tools or tools that you have modified. Even if you know how to use them properly, others may not and could be injured as a result. Make sure your tools are sharp and properly adjusted. The handles are in good condition and on tight. Dull tools are hazardous to use because excessive force must be used to make them work. Hold and use your tools correctly and always carry them with care. By the way, it's a good idea to clearly identify your personal tools. With so many people on site, it's easy for someone to think that your tape measure or hammer is a habitat tool, and before you know it, it's taken to another house and lost. Bright tape is a good way to quickly spot your tools and let others know that it's not habitat property. We cannot stress enough that you exercise extreme care when using power tools. A serious injury can easily occur if you're not familiar with the correct procedures of operating power tools. So before you operate a power tool, 
make sure you understand all safety procedures involved. In general, if you use it correctly, you will use it safely. And don't forget to inspect the tool for defects or safety hazards. Make sure that what you are cutting is properly supported and that your power saw is properly adjusted and tightened. Inspect cords to make sure they are in good condition. Always use grounded outlets. Make sure the blade is clear before starting the saw. A jarring kick can occur if the blade is touching the wood when you power it on. And remember to never reach under material being cut. With saws and other power tools, always unplug them when changing or adjusting blades, drill bits, or any accessory. Under no circumstances should you bring a nail gun to a habitat job site. They can be very dangerous when used by unskilled volunteers. Use hammers only. Good housekeeping refers to the neatness and good order of the construction site. Maintaining such order is important in accident prevention. A clean job site is absolutely essential. Lumber or piles of trash should not be lying around. Such trip hazards can cause serious injury. There will be a dumpster on site and designated places for scrap lumber. Please keep track of tools you are using, and when you are done with them, put them in a safe place so that they do not become a trip hazard for you or someone else. And if you see something lying around, please pick it up. If you see a nail sticking out of a board, remove it or hammer it down. We are all responsible for the safety of ourselves and our co-workers on the job site. To work safely with either hand or power tools, make sure you are on a firm, solid space. Do not try to work over rough piles of earth or on stacks of material that are not stable. Be aware of excavation, holes in floors, steep drop-offs and other hazards. Use brightly colored tape or a sign to indicate a hazardous situation and always watch for slippery conditions. Ladder safety is another area that requires your awareness. We often take them for granted, but not following these guidelines can cause serious injury. Only one person should climb on a ladder at a time. There should always be a person steadying the ladder for the climber. Do not use the top two steps on the ladder. Do not use the back stays of the ladder. They're not intended for climbing. Use the four to one rule. For every four foot in height, the ladder should be one foot out from the house. Ladders extending onto the roof should extend past the roof at least three feet. Always check the condition of a ladder before using it. And if there is a problem, check with your construction leader. Safety on roofs is particularly important. Falls are one of the most frequent causes of injuries on a job site. So when working on a roof, move slowly and carefully. Lifting and carrying involve simple rules, but they can be easy to forget. When lifting, stand close to the load, bend at the knees, not your waist, and lift by straightening your legs and keeping your body as vertical as possible. Do not underestimate the weight of an item. And if it feels heavy, get some help to lift it. A fire can occur if we become careless. Always keep containers of flammable liquids, such as paint thinner, closed when not in use. In general, good housekeeping is the best way to prevent fires. There are usually temporary overhead power lines on a site, so be extra careful when carrying ladders or lumber. Damp wood will conduct electricity causing shock and serious injury, even death to the individual, and possibly start a fire. There is no way that a short presentation like this can cover all the information you need on safety. We recommend that you hold short safety meetings before you start work to remind you of things specific to what you will be working on that day. You will also receive some notes at this meeting. Read them again before you come to the site. After viewing this video, you will be asked to sign a form verifying that you understand the contents of this presentation. Remember, most of the things we have talked about are just common sense. Many of them are obvious. We sometimes take them for granted and then forget them. Let's all help each other to work safely. Pay special attention to what you are doing. And if you spot an unsafe act or situation, calmly point it out. If you are not sure about how to do something, or you feel uncomfortable about how something is being done, ask your construction leader. Thank you for your attention and for volunteering your time to Habitat. We all want a safe work project for everyone so we can enjoy the finished product. 
a new Habitat home for a family.